Hey guys, Victoria Figures here, back again with another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review of Grand Moff Tarkin, number 63 in the Black Series line, out of 114 I think it is, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, so yeah, here is Grand Moff Tarkin, uh, in box, not fresh and minty, looking awesome. Uh, it's so good that uh, Hasbro made this figure, it's so cool got the face printing which is really nice and the uh, torture droid looking so cool I wish he came with a gun but you don't see him in episode uh, Rogue One or episode 4 with a gun or anything so that's fine but either way he looks pretty cool love it such an awesome character even during the Clone Wars and the Rebels and uh, Rogue One and uh, episode 4 and there's the back and his bio and another great picture pretty cool you have the side there with the two name prints very nice nothing up top and just stuff and stuff at the bottom but uh yeah so that's it but uh looking pretty cool uh you can probably most likely find this somewhere on ebay or some toy shops online and they might still have them at toy stores or something I'm not too sure, but uh, yeah. So I found this, I'm pretty sure I got two of these at the Reject shop in Australia, so uh, so that's why I'm doing a review because I have it in box and uh, also loose. So um, let's get to it. So here is Grand Moff Tarkin and the torture droid. Looking very cool. Very nice. Uh, we'll uh, start off with Tarkin. So he's wearing his uh, sort of admiral uniform, but he's the Grand Moff. Um, I'm not too sure how the ranks works, but I'm pretty sure he's like the top rank that he can be, doing all the commanding of everything sort of thing. Um, Correct me on that if I'm wrong, but um, yeah. So he looks pretty cool. He's pretty cool in the comics as well, the beta comics that I've seen him in, and the uh, movies and TV series, and they really captured the look of him. He looks so cool. Looking very nice. Very cool. <laughs> he's yeah, he's uh, pretty nicely done. <laughs> There's like nothing wrong with this guy at all. Just perfectly done. Very well done. No complaints with this guy at all. So, um, yeah, so, uh, let's do his articulation. So he does have the, uh, Black Series Super Articulation, which is common these days, but it's always nice to have it. Um, 5 POA and stuff is fine, but, um, you know, you can't go wrong with the Super Articulation, so. Uh, his head can go up a little bit, down, left and right, or it can wiggle, or you can make him do it like a... 360 break his neck, you know. <laughs> his uh, arm can go up and down and do a 360. His elbow can bend and go left and right or do a 360. And his wrist can swivel and go forward and back. And I think, yep, it's the same with this one. So there's no uh, side to side joint, but that's fine. Um, his ab can go left and right up and down his legs can kick out kick forward and kick back and his legs his thighs can swivel he has double jointed knees and his ankle can kick forward and back and also has ankle pivot but um yeah so pretty cool would have been cool to have a gun with him but that's fine he looks so cool man 
it's way better in person. Well done, Hasbro. So here's the uh, uh, torture droid, looking pretty cool. Very nice. He's got all his tools and stuff to uh, torture the rubbles that they capture to get information. So you do see this in episode 4 when they use it. Well, you don't see them use it on Leia, but they're about to, I'm sure, so. But it looks pretty cool. But yeah, they, uh, pretty sure they use it on Leia when uh, she's captured and when she's in the cell, so. But uh, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Uh, I don't think anything can move, it's just for show. Sure. It's just a big bowl of plastic, but um, still pretty neat. It's a nice accessory. That's pretty cool. Very well done. Uh, yeah, so you can just have that sitting there with Grand Moff Tarkin, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, so that's the uh, review for Grand Moff Tarkin. I uh, don't believe I'm missing anything. Uh, he does look pretty cool with his Imperial Army. Uh, I've not been able to set that up or anything, but um, hopefully one day I can do that. That'll be pretty sweet. Uh, I just need some more room because I have a room full of boxed action figures, pops, hot toys, sideshow, and all that stuff. Um, yes, hopefully I can get a room and set that up and uh, have my loose figures up for display one day. Um, but yeah, so uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please subscribe. Comment down below, leave a like, click the bell for notifications. Also, check out my Instagram, Victoria Figures. I am always posting items on there, uh, so uh, follow that. Like the pictures, well, feel free to comment on my uh, pictures, uh, and feel free to uh, send me a message if you want. Uh, so, yeah, so stay cool, guys. May the force be with you, and have a nice day. Cheers, guys. Yeah.